Well, I made the made cast acrylic sculptures until the, the late 70s. And I loved those pieces and they were, had wonderful reception, but I kind of got worn out by the um, machining, the sanding, the polishing, and the weight issues, and the fact that they were so vulnerable uh, to scratching. In this case, I returned to my ne need to have something to, to respond to, uh, the elements of the shape. And I started looking into some of the, 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 the basic Euclidean shapes. And they were a little too simple. Um, that's cubes and spheres and cones, and, and um, they were a little too simple. And I was, uh, had got a, a copy of a very important 19th century uh, German set of books on crystallography. And they were fascinating drawings of, uh, 19th century drawings of all kinds of different crystals. Um, I'd always been interested in crystals, and there's a, there, marvelously both precise, imprecise at the same time, and have an incredible range of, of shape. Although there's logic, there's, there's, a, a, a sci there's a logic behind all of those shapes, but it's an, a, a, a tremendous range of them. So they're not, they're not natural shapes like leaves or, or drippings of, um, of things that, that can take any shape. There's a, a, a sign, not a scientific, but a, a natural laws behind all of those shapes, but there's a tremendous range of them. So basically I was using these, this set of German texts as a source material to, to discover uh, some geometry that I, I would not have really known about. And through those, I, I discovered this, a particular shape, a 12-sided uh, polyhedra that would join together in, a, to me, an amazing number of different ways. They became the basic element of that new vocabulary. And I did a lot of them with that. I did some of them in wood, uh, and, uh, but most of them were in metal. And they, they enlarged well because they could be made out of plate with this inside-outside shape. So I could get a good volume of, of sculpture um, without anything really being terribly heavy. And that was fun because that got back into the big direct metal building. And then what happened, <laughs> what I did again was I, I felt I had learned that vocabulary well enough that it wasn't really stretching myself anymore. I think that I want and need to be stretched to keep from being bored. So. Often, the very best pieces in any series are really at the very end. Uh, I've learned that language, I'm fluent in it, uh, I'm comfortable in it, but I'm not as challenged. And that not feeling as challenged is what then makes me look, look, go to look for another challenge.